Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I want to share with you this uh, node tree that I made in Blender using Spherechalk add-on. Uh, it's basically, um, it's looking something like this. It's just kind of like a spider robot or it's kind of like an octopus, but maybe a little more like a spider. It's very nervous one. Uh, seems like it's moving in the circle. Um, if I go back to the controller over here and change change the radius while the timeline is playing. So this spider robot is now moving in circle and I can make it larger but as it gets closer to the edge you know you can see the legs it's kind of sticking on the on that point. So let's uh, actually have a look at this setup um, uh, why this is possible is because um, of one nodes it's uh, this guy over here maybe I should give it a different color so this node give it a different color so this node has been around for years it's a um, KDT finding the closest vertices based on numbers or find range, kind of like a radius. So I can uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. I just find find a single points that's closest to points that we provided. So a bunch of triangles that you see down there is actually controlling the position of where these spider legs will stick into so let's try to break it down I'll try to explain it um, so I think I can start with the the floor the points in contacts so that's basically just a random number I can have like maybe just 50 points so the spider doesn't have much spot to stand but I can increase the number so now the spider sh should be able to find a place to stand so it's only like a single point and I randomize the points if I zero this out it's just gonna be looking like that flat but I randomize it further so we have more randomness and here rewire can control the position of the floor and then here further down I further randomize just in case we want to have like a random brown or something but these points in contact can be just like a point point scatter on a on the surface if we have like a scatter nodes we don't have scatter nodes but maybe in the future or we can just use blender particles just to scatter points so that's the floor and this KD3 is finding points based on the circle okay so the circle is this guy over here so that's really controlling our spider it's currently just a, just a circle so if uh, the circle have 12 we have 12 legs of the spider just give a number maybe like six so we have six legs the legs is pretty stiff but this could be easily used as mechanism for character rig so it could be like an IK contact point what's missing is probably the where the the IK angle will should uh, should point out but I think I have a feeling I can just use uh, wire simulations also for this this part of the legs. Um, so the circle I have solidify and thickness. Oh, that's that's actually for this this part of the spider, the top part. It's just for decorations. It's nothing nothing too special there. And what else do I have here? Okay, for the actual 
uh, for the circle itself is doing what it's doing now it's kind of rotating and kind of moving ups and downs kind of like real animated spider that's because of this what I have over here so I have another circle nodes and I'm moving it around oh I can move it around if I want and I also use this randomizations and time so it has a bit of randomness going up and down and smoothing randomly as well so it's kind of like random walk and I have this okay this is controlling the height of the spider and this one just this list item is basically just getting a single point from this circle for the spider and that's gonna be the position for this head okay so let's see what we have over here oh that's just the decorations polyline viewer is for our just for this part of the spider just like a viewer and then we have box this box is what is this box okay that's for the leg the position of the spider leg and we have UV connection ah, okay okay this is important between the point contacts that the KD3 found just a single points to correspond to the original circle we we merge it together kind of connect the dots using UV connections and the rest of them like B mesh and polyline will generate polygon edge or curve to connect the dots okay so polyline viewer is actually curved if I hide it so we can't see the curve but we can see there's another line so with this line we can we can perhaps subdivide resample turn it into wire simulations or other things and it's it's gonna look a little bit better if not we just use the the wire ah the curve okay so that's the whole setup slightly complicated but if you look at it it's very it's actually really simple so if, if I summarize it it's basically we have a circle and then we use this KD3 closest vertices to find the closest points on the floor and then connect the dots as the leg for the spider okay and the rest of them the motion etc is all animated procedural animations based on this circle so we can have this spider going staying on the spot kind of like dancing or going around in circle what will be cool is probably to improve this maybe the spider can be can walk around the terrain the terrain can be 3d the spider can walk around it procedurally and then the leg should also should always know where where to stand so that's basically the idea of course it's a bit jumpy if you want to spline the animations maybe you can just bake it and then scale the animations that's the quickest yeah, to do it otherwise maybe between the one contact into the next contact the legs should be able to to have that kind of motion I don't know how to do that yet maybe in the next video all right but for now this is what we have Hopefully you enjoy this, uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.